and let me start by thanking you for being here with me. And today for my review I have something different. I have here the Corad Key EL102 that is a programmable DC electronic load. This electronic load operates on a maximum of 150 watts, 120 volts and 30 amps and is the light version of the Key EL103 that supports 300 watts instead of the 100 watts of this module. If you follow my channel and usually read my response to comments, you should already know that one of the devices I want to review is the Regal DL3021 DC electronic loads. And knowing this, some of you recommended me to try the Corets electronic charge. As you know, I did a review on the Corad KIA 3005D power supply that was already given away in my latest giveaway. Ah, and goes to a lucky winner who lives in Azores, one of the autonomous regions of Portugal. And in that review, I could see that the power supply was quite simple, very basic, but very robust. This fact sparked my curiosity and I decided to contact Corad and asked if they were interested in me reviewing the KEL 102 and they kindly agreed to provide a sample unit for review. Uh, <laughs> as you have probably already figured out, this device was provided free of charge to me, other than shipping and custom fees. But as always, the review is based solely in my independent opinion. Okay. No more shit chat, let's jump into it. by uh, seeing what comes in the box. It is delivered with a user manual. Uh, I should say this user manual is very well organized. Uh, it focuses everything that we can do with the power uh, with the DC electronic load. It has an info di diagram and you have complete instructions with key pressing and everything else so you can program the electronic load. Yeah, you can see that it has all the functions, it's organized, it has a nice quality. You also have online the PDF uh, for this manual. So yeah, quite, sat quite satisfied. They can uh, talk a bit more about each function, but yeah. Uh, this is for professionals, they should know uh, what this does, what this does. It has also a CD with drivers, USB drivers, and two programs that I will show you a bit later in this video. Uh, one to control the, the electronic loads through the PC. Yeah, I already uh, experimented this and they are quite, quite nice, I like it. So you have also uh, a serial cable for PC connection or industrial industrial use. You have also a USB Type B to Type A to connect the the electronic load to the PC. You have a power supply that comes. The, right now this has the European socket. Uh, European plug, sorry, and yeah, the universal plug also, and it comes also with these two cables, and I should say those cables are awesome. Let me show you. They are very thick and very flexible. Okay, look at this. They are really flexible, and they are AWG uh, 10, I believe. 
let me see if you can see there yeah so very nice cables very nice quality i'm impressed as you can see very flexible silicon cables so very nice i will explain the keypads in a moment and everything else uh, but as you can see you have the keypad the output a knob uh, selection keys also in the left side you have here the handle for carrying and yeah it's nice because it doesn't uh, it, it is leveled with the, the surface so when you when you are not uh, using this it will not interfere for example if you want to store this in a, a, a shelf or something like that okay from the other side you have holes for hair flow and in the bottom also you have this fit they are nice so you can have a higher position when working like this and in the back you have the socket for the the power plug you have here in this uh, a fuse the power selector 240 and 120 for USA and the serial connector the industrial connector and you have here the Ethernet port and the USB connector for the PC so this is quite complete here you have the output from the uh, heatsink yeah this has a kick ass heat sink in inside i will show you in a in a bit i will tear this down and well not tear it down but open to see what's inside and yeah that's it let's see what we have inside here okay i have here already the electronic load uh, open we have well i i will not uh, start pretending that i know everything is going on here because i don't as you know i'm a hobbyist i'm not a professional but anyway you could see how this is neat and tidy uh, yeah it has a very good uh, aspect uh, we have here a mechanical power on and power off you have here very well insulated the power supply you have here the heatsink with the, a fan to to make the air flow if you notice in here you have two MOSFETs and two more ICs I don't know if they are MOSFETs or not in this side and you have two more in this side uh, in here so yeah the, the main difference bef between this module and the 300 watts model as you can see you have here the place for the rest of the MOSFETs and also the heatsink goes up to here it's twice the size of this one and uh, obviously if you need uh, more watts you will have more MOSFETs and a bigger heatsink as you might know the the, the 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 electronic loads it's made by transforming the electricity in heat that is dissipated by this heat sink uh, well you have here the output the connection for the front port you have here oops you have here the motherboard for the controls in the front it seems quite robust yeah it doesn't wiggle or anything else so yeah that's it let's close this and start testing it okay i already have the electronic loads set up here with my power supply the regal dp a32 um, let me just give you a, a quick explaining of the the buttons we have here the output knobs uh, 
we have a selection knob and also if you prefer instead of the selection knob you can use these keys to select up and down in the numbers i will show you in a moment you have the ask to escape the the current programming function you have a shortcut to the first five memories of the electronic load this electronic load has 100 memories uh, 99 memories uh, and the first five you can shortcut with these keys you have the recall function for the configuration that is stored in the memories uh, so this is a recall for memory to 1 to 5 i will show you in a moment the shift key allows you to use the these extra functions that you see here in blue under the keys and you have also the sh the sh number shift or number change when selecting uh, a value okay down here you have the keypad with the the, the numbers uh, you have the constant current constant voltage constant wattage and constant resistance you have the enter key for the selection and the output on and off okay let me turn the power supply on and also the electronic load and let's see how this all works i will start by putting uh, 15 volts here and 3 amps okay we have 15 volts and a maximum of 3 amps i will turn the channel on it's outputting 3 uh, 15 volts as you can see and here it says exactly 15001 okay so imagine that i want to load the power supply with the maximum uh, wattage uh, uh, with the maximum amperage that is 3 amps as you can see here per channel I will come here set I have the constant current uh, selected I select 3 enter it's 3 amps and I will start the output as you can see he right now it's 15 volts 3 amps uh, the beating 44.985 watts okay uh, the power supply is limited to 15 watts it can go up to 30 watts okay I don't know if you can hear but the the fan the the fan of the electronic load uh, turns on and off dy dy dynamically uh, when you start it will start to fan now it's slowing down and in a bit it will shut down totally okay so to select voltage you just press the key indicate how many volts you want for example 12 volts press enter is selected and on and off and right now this channel is to 15 volts but it's only consuming 12 volts he says 11 something uh, well I don't know really why there is this difference I don't know each of the devices uh, that is wrong but right now he is asking for 12 volts so yeah and okay let's stop and we have also the watts imagine that I want to debit 20 watts okay enter and output and he will in 15 volts 1.3 amps and it will consume 20 watts 20.032 okay here it says it's consuming 19 point ninety eight nine or nine eight nine yeah but yeah twenty watts okay let's send this and finally we have the resistance constant resistance uh, let me for example uh, three ohms 
enter okay and start this it will produce 8.9 volts at 3 amps it's consuming the 3 amps and it's consuming 27 watts it has a small difference between here and there but yeah 9 volts here and almost 9 volts there the precision of this power uh, or of this electronic load it's it's quite uh, amazing you can do you can go to a very low for example 0. Point, or let me you can go to a very low values in amperage for example let me change this you can use this key to change the digit that is selected okay you can use this one again you can use the knob to up and down or the this keys as I told you before I believe okay and let me see this is the minimum you can select okay so yeah it has a very big precision let's see how how much this consumes it doesn't even uh, turn this on okay let's put the, something like one oops yeah so very very nice okay so now let's see how we can use the memory of this device uh, if you press one as i told you before it's a short a shortcut for the first five memories m1 m2 m3 and so on this is a shortcut for the values on the first five memories to access or to save in, in the rest of the memories let's see first how to save let's see i i want to to change this to okay 14 and an half okay you press enter it's the value is fixed so right now you press shift to access the lower functions and you press save and right now you are able to select the memory where to save uh, i will choose 11 and press enter okay so this value is on memory 11 if you press one you have the value of memory one and so on and you don't have a shortcut for the 11 so you just come here press call it's the recall button and save okay and now you can select the memory that you want enter and here it is you can also change uh, for example if you want to use it uh, save uh, as amps you can go for example uh, 2.5 amps okay and now you want to save this on memory 12 okay so you go here uh, sorry you go to recall to 12 enter and here it is in amps okay so it works very nice uh, another useful button it's this one you press shift and you have here the bip and right now you have bip working with this there is a few sample a few functions that i will not talk about it because they are quite complex to to set up an environment to demonstrate but you have trig and trigger you have dynamic loads it can use several values to to do the measuring and okay you have one that is the short for short circuit you can use this one and okay you have the, here the idn it will give you the serial number of the device okay 
don't forget ask always comes to the default menu you have the OCP uh, overload uh, current protection OPP also you can configure your com using this you have there the baud rate right now it's uh, 115 to and 12 uh, bps and yeah also let me out of here also you can lock the keyboard right now it's locked you can press everywhere that nothing will happen oops well this will happen <laughs> sorry but let me change again yeah right now it's locked you cannot do anything you press again and shift and unlock and yeah you have also battery testing you need to set up several values the discharge value the end discharge amperage uh, the time and yeah you, the dirty cycle you have to set up several things as i told you before there are setups that are a little more complicated to to set up for this review maybe in a, a future videos i will show you how to how it works and finally you have the max set i will show you this one this is important okay you can set uh, the maximum just i did here uh, for example this can output 15 volts uh, 30 volts but i limit it to 15 volts or for example if i come here to current i can see that i can say that the maximum current output is one amp okay you can do the same here you can limit the maximum drain that uh, the device will do so to do that you can press shift and cv and the first value is 30 because it's the maximum amperage that the device can work with so let's limit to 10 amps and press enter you press again cv max set and you can say that the maximum voltage that i will use is 50 again enter press cv again and you will say as you can see the color now it's the wattage it's 150 let's say that no the maximum that this will use its 100 watts and enter and finally press max again you have the resistance it says it's 700 and uh, 700 and an half or 700 uh, 7500 uh, ohms okay let's leave it like that and you press ask to leave this menu as an, and you can see right now that automatically the limit it's 10 amps because you just let's try to put something like 20 amps and you will limit to 10 amps let's change to voltage okay 50 voltage maximum i want 100 no can do sir okay same here and same here okay let's put the values back uh, i want 30 amps it's the maximum uh 10 120 volts and 150 watts okay and yeah right now enter and okay right now i can use 120 volts and 30 amps and 150 watts okay 3 amps is the maximum and it should go up to 15 volts that's the limit here yeah 44 watts 15 volts okay let's try to put here 14 watts and start this it's limited to 14 watts and if you want to 
change this to 10 watts 10 volts okay yeah okay this seems nice uh, let let me just connect this to the pc to see how we can work with this directly on the pc and it has a very nice software okay guys i have here already uh, the environment set up so we can analyze how uh, we can control this electronic load directly on the pc let me start by explaining what we have in front of us um, this is the software uh, the first thing we have to do uh, is to configure how uh, we are going to connect we can connect by ethernet uh, setting an ip address and a net port or by communications right now i have the electronic load connected to the pc by usb i'm going to use ethernet in the future but right now it's by usb let me choose uh, the correct com it's com7 and the correct baud rate that is uh, 115200 okay um, so this is the com part after we selected this let co let's connect we have also a multi-test uh, environment to test several uh, electro electronic loads at the same time we are not going to use this so i am not going to use this right now uh, over here in this section um, at your right uh, we have the data logger we can set the time uh, and uh, the location of the file and right now it's disabled and right now it's enabled this is a little misleading uh, it should have color or something like that but yeah this is disabled this is enabled uh, Below this, we have here a simulation of the knob that exists on the electronic load to fine-tune fine the, the, the values. It doesn't work uh, well. Uh, it's very hard to, to use this with the mouse. Uh, so this is kind of to forget. It's the worst part of this software. And the software is pretty nice to use. I like it. But this doesn't make sense uh, at all. Uh, it's it's very difficult to work with this. But fortun fortunately, we have this uh, side on the left, where if you notice the electronic loads, I'm going to change to continuous voltage. Look on the electronics voltage, it change. We change here the the lights uh, on the software, but on the electronic load it changes also the the button i'm going to put now on continuous current continuous resistance and continuous wattage okay uh, to select a different voltage we just need to to come here look it's changing on the electronic load as i work in here uh, it, it's pretty easy to use you just type also and yeah we have here the display it's re representing pretty well what we see on the electronic load and yeah. and below that we have here something that is like the memories the m1 m2 m3 and so on uh, but on the software, we have here uh, nine presets. They work pretty much like the M buttons. Uh, we cannot control the M buttons uh, from the software. Neither we can use all the memories, all the 99 memories. But this is so easy to, to work with that uh, it doesn't matter, to, to, to be honest. Well, uh, some professional kids might have usage but uh, for me it doesn't matter uh, so we have for example i have this one on for example nine volts if i press the second button it will automatically choose 12 volts and 
please notice uh, as I work uh, with these buttons, the electronic load instantly updates the, the values, uh, as you can see. Okay, for example, I'm going to put here in this one three amps, this one one amp, and in, uh, I have to change it, the button to work. Okay, it's current, yeah, key, yeah, and, and here, uh, you know, 100 watts. Okay, so we have 9 volts, 12 volts, 5 volts, 3 amps, and uh, 100 watts and it just needs to connect uh, and it automatically start working and uh, using this, the preset values that you choose okay let me turn off one thing uh, I didn't show you uh, in this section you can turn the output uh, on or you can also lock the keyboard when you connect to the electronic load he it automatically uh, enable the lock look at, uh, at the right side of the display you have there a lock it means that you cannot do anything in the keyboard uh, but you can unlock it here or, or in the electronic load but by default every time you connect connect with the software to the electronic load this will uh, passes to a, a lock state. Uh, below this zone you have the battery test and this software uh, allows to, to use uh, very nice features of this electronic load that are very hard to, to work with on the electronic load but on the PC they are extremely easy to use. Uh, the programmable test and the battery tests are two, of, two, two examples of that. And why I say that? Because right now we have a visual uh, representation of what we need to do to, to program the electro electronic load. For example, for a battery test, you have to submit uh, the current, the dis discharge current, uh, the voltage uh, on termination, the discharge capacity, and the discharge time. Uh, we have here also uh, a status window with the message and the battery discharge time and the battery capacity. Okay, we start the test using this button here, the red one. Um, so we have two more uh, zones to, to use the max parameter setting. With the max parameter setting, we can uh, as I did before using the display and the keypad, set the maximum values for each of these uh, parameters, voltage, current, power and resistor or uh, resistance. Um, and you can update everything from here just pressing max, send max and it's done. Uh, above this we have the programmable test. It's a pretty neat uh, feature. We can in here set the number of cycles that it will run. Uh, what is the first point here from the, these points or from those points and the last point it, it starts on one and ends on eight. And this is show you uh, in which point we are now and the number of cycles that already run. In here we have, for example, it will run on the first point, uh, continuous voltage, 4 volts for 2 seconds. After that, it will run continuous current, 1 amp for 2 seconds, resistance, 1 ohm for 2 seconds, and so on. You get the idea. Voltage, 30 watts for 2 seconds, and it will do it again. In all of this is one cycle. Uh, we will see this in a moment. and. For last, you have here two graphs, uh, one for voltage and one for current. And But this is pretty awesome to see when we are using this programmable test because you will see a lot of action in here. I will start the data logging so we can see after how it went. And I will run this so we can see. 
okay the output for right now it's uh, it cannot change and you can see on this power supply and also on the electronic loads the values changing and this cycle will run for uh, sorry it will run for five sec uh, five cycles uh, sorry it will run for three cycles uh, the eight points okay we are right now in the second cycle end it and we have one more and this is amazing to test how the equipment uh, react to the changes of uh, well the electrical requirements and that's it i will change i will turn this off and yeah this is pretty much how the software works and now I will show you also the software for running uh, comments, the API comments, uh, console comments or whatever. Okay, I have here already the Cal Assistant. Uh, this is the Cal Assistant version 2.10. Uh, we can connect at lower level directly uh, to the electronic loads. We can do it by several ways. Uh, we have the serial debugger that uh, connects using the serial cable. You select the COM port and the, uh, the speed, the baud rate. You can also use this one to connect with the USB, but for USB you have here one that we will use that is, is specifically for USB. You have also the network debugger. You ha have to specify the, the local host and everything, everything else can device. It's pretty uh, similar. And you have the USB debugger. That's what we are going to use. It already dis uh, detected the, the KAL102. Uh, Let's connect it, open USB. Right now we are connected to the to the electronic loads and to check it out we have for example here the issue command device info we press this one he will send this command and it will receive this data okay it's with the, the acp disconnected the ip is this one the mask and everything else uh, we can also for example run the command stat it answers i believe with the version of the firmware i don't know uh, we have the idn also a very common command let me clear this to idn okay uh, if you entered in an oscilloscope for example you have these kind of commands to control the oscilloscope we can do several uh, configurations like turn the beep on okay it's on and off again uh, for example we can turn the lock off if you are watching the power supply on your left you can see that it's off again and let's on okay uh, we have here several uh, commands for example if you want to set the voltage to 10 volts you can do it you just put here 10 press volt look at the, the voltage on the electronic loads to changing yeah we issue the command to 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 change that we can also write the what you want for example if you want to put this on 12 volts you just write what you want and do send but this one you will not have uh, any feedback because it doesn't return nothing look closely to the electronic load yeah just change this is wonderful if you want to control this by a script for example and this environment allows you to test everything uh, for example if you want only to know the ip just press send this command let me clean this to be you send this command and you have the ip if you want to know the baud rate you send this one if you want to change the port right now it's 18190 
if you want to change it you just put a new value here and press this command uh, you have the gateway and the current part uh, okay factory reset also available i just disconnected the usb and it's back uh, okay i have to open this again okay we are back uh, i just did a, a factor a factory reset to the device it's uh, all the parameters are factory default right now uh, you have here uh, for example to to program the battery testing what you want everything uh, is available by command um, to get let me clear this to get the measure in volts and to me the measure in current what it's on the screen so this is a pretty neat application if you want to know more about the internal commands of the electronic load and yeah it's a pretty nice point to start one thing this probably will work without any problem to other equ equipments from other suppliers uh, yeah so let me just show you what comes in the cd okay here it is the content of the cd uh, the test command application is the cal assistant the second one i show you uh we have also the testing software that's the first application this application it has a gui uh more uh, created gui and it takes centuries to install it took a lot of time to install something like almost 20 minutes to install i don't know why but if you look here it has all this package to install it's huge it has 260 meg uh, to install um, so those are the two softwares that comes it comes also with a, a driver it's a folder with a usb driver so you can connect to the to the electronic load and you have a manual user manual for the usb driver installation okay you have uh, ep communications protocol uh, for connecting using the ethernet how you should configure your computer if you you don't know how to do it how to use the, the cal assistant and how to configure uh, testing if it is with connection with the uh, pinging uh, how to program it uh, yeah so this is another application that is not uh, provided but anyway you can do it the same on the cal assistant you have a, a box to insert the the commands and for last you have here all the commands that are available for you uh, in the in the electronic loads so you have everything here the long version and the short version the params what you should what this is and what the answer you should have and everything here you have the measure when it when it's uppercase you can short by the uppercase letters so abbreviate yeah you have everything you need over here and if you want to for example do a script to connect i believe there is some scripts to connect to this kind of equipment on github uh, but if you want to do it yourself it's pretty easy you have here all the commands you have to send to the to the serial or through the ethernet when connected okay let's wrap it up okay to wrap it up uh what do i think about this device uh, it's awesome really this device costs in europe uh, 162 euros uh, delivered directly from europe with free shipping um, it's something like uh, 200 dollars more or less 190 dollars you probably have the same price from uh, usa uh, warehouses 
uh, the 150 watts model the model for uh, 300 watts it goes to 350 euros more or less for 400 dollars give or take and that is amazing really if you compare this to the Rigel uh, that uh, I'm wishing to, to test and to review here in the channel the it looks like this power supply uh, but it's a uh, electronic load if you compare to Rigel the entry point of Rigel is uh, 439 euros it's like uh, almost five uh, 490 almost 500 dollars and we are talking about I believe it's the model of two 100 watts uh, if you go to the model to upper model to 300 or 400 watts it goes up to 1000 uh, euros or something like 1300 dollars give or take and yeah it's a very nice equipment i would like to have one here for review but if you are uh, using this for testing uh, this will be a very nice addition to your electronics lab it has all the functions you can test batteries you can have dynamic loads uh, steady states and everything you need for a very good price um, it has a, a, a con uh, the information when programming on the on the display it's very very low uh, it's a little hard to to program with the information sometimes you need to insert on the sequence of uh, values and uh, some values and you don't know what you have to insert in that moment because on the screen you have a very little information you have to always be with a, a user manual around but if you use the PC program as I show you uh, before you can override that uh, problem uh, it's perfect no but yeah it can solve uh, a bit the that issue the the software it's okay it has a lot of fun fun functionalities and you can use it to override that lack of information that you have here programming with the display so I think this is a awesome unit uh, I was very uh, impressed with it thank you Corrad for sending me this unit for review really and yeah I think that we will be well served with this okay uh, if you this video was useful to you if you take some value of this video please give a thumbs up okay a like press that like button and consider subscribing and if you do subscribe please don't forget to hit that bell so you can be the first one to be notified every time I launch a new video that's it for today thank you for watching until the end I hope to see you in my next video that's all cheers <laughs>